business environment is materially changing from the economics of the 80s and 90s. 20th century methods are beginning to struggle in this 21st century world. Reviewing the content of MBAs, leadership development programs and philosophies right up to the end of the last century shows that the fundamentals of accepted business practice was based on competition. This informed vision, strategy, strength, power and decision making. The business environment in the 21st century requires businesses to be nimble and agile, both responding to rapid change and capable of anticipating what the next shift will be. They need to respond to complex, wicked problems with systematic solutions. Business leaders who will be successful will be those who can ride the wave of this increasingly changing world. Harnessing the benefits of technology and new societal attitudes to ethics and fairness, they will embrace collaborative relationships and be prepared to be radical in their thinking to build organizations that are fleet of foot and thrive on uncertainty and ambiguity. These leaders will operate beyond their ego, continuing personal development and learning. They will be able to embed authentic, ethical and emotional intelligent behaviors into the DNA of the organization. They will build strong, empathetic and collaborative relationships within the organization and with all stakeholders. They will also develop a performance enhancing culture that provides sustainability. We call people that can do this transpersonal leaders. Transpersonal leaders are also leaders who lead beyond their ego. A preliminary review of leadership's research data indicated that women are naturally better leaders for the 21st century. This view is supported by broad-ranging global study by Mercer entitled When Women Thrive. More and more companies now recognize that collaborative rather than competitive behavior creates more success and as such, women are well placed to lead in this century. The data shows women have all the right attributes, including empathy, change catalyst and inspirational leadership. More than that, there are a number of reports that demonstrate that companies with women on the board perform better. This sounds great, but representation of women on boards in the USA is 19.9% of board seats in the S&P 500, which compares to 19.6% on UK FTSC 250 boards. In India, data from Deloitte shows women only hold 7.7% of the board seats in India compared to 12% globally. In contrast, the share of women on boards in Norway stands at 37%, edging closer to the statutory target of 40%. There is still a lot that needs to be done. Clearly, men play a big part in women getting the real power in companies. The enlightened ones recognize and embrace the strength and diversity of qualities and opinion women bring. Yet, others steadfastly cling on to the old ways, harking back to when they were successful but in a different context on another day. It's no secret then that there is resistance from some men to welcome women into the powerful position in senior leadership. But actually, that's not all. Women themselves can be their own worst enemy. Leadership's data shows that two areas where women don't score as well as men are self-confidence and emotional self-control. Our leadership Emotional Intelligence Performance Assessment Tool, LIPA, which is based on a 360-degree format, really shows this well. 
द इंस्ट्रूमेंट कंपेयर्स ऑब्जर्व बिहेवियर अगेंस्ट आइडियल बिहेवियर सो द क्लोजर टू आइडियल यू आर ऑब्जर्व द बेटर यू आर परफॉर्मिंग वी फाइंड दैट वीमेन कंसिस्टेंटली मार्क देम सेल्फ पुअरली सो देर सेल्फ रेटिंग शोज देम टू बी क्रिएटिव पुअर परफॉर्मर्स across all the ai competencies but being a 360 degree format when they see the scores that colleagues have given them their hidden strengths determined by the difference between their own scores and that of their colleagues shine out and are usually many fold this in itself can be incredibly reaffirming it seems to be a real issue that women will naturally undermine their own achievements are afraid of being found out and suffer from imposter syndrome chip undertook some original research using its executive development tool lipa the leadership and emotional intelligence performance accelerator based on 360 degree assessment format lipa collects anonymous inputs from individuals their managers peers reports and others with whom they have meaningful working relationship the questionnaire compared observed against desired frequency of exhibited behaviors for all the emotional intelligence competencies set out in goldman model of ei and leadership styles although leadership did not set out to focus on gender as a leadership issue subsequent analysis of the data comparing results from men with that of women indicated some interesting similarities and differences the four ei competencies of self awareness self management social awareness and relationship management were broken down into 19 ei capabilities The LIPA survey comprises 92 statements which observe granular behavior such as behaves calmly under stress or identifies opportunities and stimulates individuals to develop to their full potential. They were asked to rate to which level they currently observe the behavior, how often does this occur now and in the recent past, and at what level they would desire the behavior. How often would you like this to occur? Data compiled after the research, we found that women fared better in 15 of the 19 emotional intelligence capabilities. The key leadership AI capabilities where women scored best included service orientation, developing others, change catalyst, transparency, empathy and inspirational leadership in the four leadership capabilities where men scored better were emotional self control self confidence accurate self assessment and adaptability key leadership ai capabilities where women scored best included service orientation and developing others but also change catalyst transparency empathy and inspirational leadership service orientation developing others and empathy are not surprising our experience of years of working with women leaders confirms that women on average are more caring than men and therefore naturally more interested in the satisfaction and fulfillment of other people however while women were rated higher in empathy they often confused it with sympathy change catalyst transparency and inspirational leadership were a little more unexpected as it shows a greater willingness to take risk either in making decisions or being more open to disclosing oneself on further detailed analysis we found that women more naturally engage others when pursuing change and regarding transparency tend to be more honest as regard inspirational leadership women naturally communicate more to arouse enthusiasm for a shared vision and mission they also have higher integrity as they lead by example and set 
higher standards to achieve. Top capabilities where men scored better were emotional self-control, self-confidence, accurate self-assessment and adaptability. Men are seen to behave more calmly under stress and manage their emotions better. Although this perception may actually be due to men being better at hiding emotions and feelings rather than managing them more effectively. Based on our many coaching assignments, we find that women care sometimes too much about what others think about them. In today's world, this desire to be liked at all cost can stop a woman speaking out, taking a risk to go for a job she is not 100% capable of doing. An often cited Hewlett Packard internal report claims men apply for a job when they meet only 60% of the qualifications, but women apply only if they meet 100% of them. They need to be provided with learning and development opportunities in emotional intelligence to firstly understand the need for an effective leadership model for the 21st century. Secondly, understand the connection between leadership and emotional intelligence. Thirdly, increase accurate self-assessment of their own strengths and area of development. Fourthly, learn techniques and practices to enhance self-confidence. Fifthly, improve self-control by learning and practicing effective emotional self-control strategies. Sixthly, increase adaptability by understanding how and when to apply the six emotional intelligence leadership styles. Seventhly, learn how to leverage their strengths to create a performance enhancing culture within their organization. The role of women and attitudes towards all forms of diversity and inclusion will impact leadership at least for the rest of this century. The best leaders are recognizing that diversity itself is not the point. It is the exploitation of the difference in thinking and performance that the diversity presents that is the key to 21st century success. Workshops with coaching support should be a key strategy for building a strong pipeline of women leaders.